Want healthier, stronger, shinier hair? Tired of products that don't work for coily or kinky hair? Meet 12 Tribes, the vegan hair care line designed for you. Our products are made with love for your gorgeous coils. We offer hair growth butters, oils, shampoos, and hairsprays. These products help your hair grow long, thick, and shiny. Imagine a hair care line that's 100% vegan and perfect for coily hair. No more guessing if it's really going to work for you. Our butters are rich and nourishing, feeding every strand. Our oils are lightweight but powerful, sealing in moisture without greasy residue. Shampoos and butters leave your hair clean and soft, never stripped. What sets us apart? Our dedication to your hair's needs. No harsh chemicals, just effective, natural ingredients. And the results speak for themselves. Start your journey to healthier, shinier hair today. Visit our Etsy shop, Lisa Crafts. Click the link in the description below. Give your hair the care it deserves. Join our satisfied customers and see the difference. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an update on the global outage. And apparently now it's coming out. It, this was caused by Microsoft, y'all. Somebody, you know, or a group of people that work for Microsoft. I said, somebody's going to get fired. So here's an update on the botched update for software security and it has really taken a toll globally in one day so look this was CrowdStrike and they said this organization is 70 billion dollars and look at the mistake they have made. So they're in the business of cybersecurity, any type of malicious attack, um, spying, any kind of crime rings out here, hacking and doing all kinds of um, things online. So the company depends on deep access to millions of computers to defend them against new attacks and instructions they also provide to companies to prevent any type of cyber attack so y'all this goes way deeper than you can imagine so as of now banking the airline industry and 911 emergency call systems are struggling to recover crowdstrike has issued an apology and blamed an error rather than a hacking attack on its internal systems. This is not a cyber attack, CrowdStrike said on its blog. The Austin-based company said it identified the problem and provided a fix for customers to help their employees get working again. Yet the failure was so extensive and it impacted so many industries. It was so profound that not all security experts were convinced that it was merely human error. CrowdStrike has grown rapidly in the last year and just last month, Join the S&P 500 index of top publicity traded companies. But it has made worldwide enemies by calling out hacking operations, such as those by Russian intelligence that stole emails from the Democratic National Committee and Hillary Clinton's campaign in 2016. I doubt this was accidental too many shortcomings so this is what uh, a hacking house training company this is what uh, someone said by the name of matthew hickey he said the offending file contained random data but it had not been digitally um signed and it was not tested so what they did and this is what he's confirming 
when they put this update out there, it was not tested or confirmed. So they recklessly sent this thing out and it took a major hit on companies all over the globe. And here in America, the effects are still being felt. The U.S. federal officials speaking on the condition of, oh, they want to be anonymous, y'all, to discuss national security matters said there were no evidence of sabotage or foreign involvement. I tell you what, y'all, there's going to be a hearing on this. It's going to be an investigation because so many industries, you know, especially banking and 911, man, yeah, they're going to investigate these folks for real. Some analysts said they were waiting to hear more from CrowdStrike and that the complexity of the state-of-the-art hacking defenses made them dangerously fragile. So they are saying, you know, some of these programs that block or are designed to block hacking, it just goes to show you if one thing goes wrong, it can impact the entire globe. While computer network outages aren't unusual, experts are stunned Friday that one company's error had a huge ripple effect on so many systems. We haven't seen a cascading failure like this, maybe ever. So, y'all, this thing is still going on. As of now, they have not at one point said everything is back. It's not. It's not. And the ones they were able to get up, they said these organizations had to reboot each machine one at a time and delete the bad update. So they got to do this worldwide. Can you imagine that? So when I went to um, Down Detector, there are many companies still complaining about issues. Mm -mm -mm. And they said it was horrible. Um even businesses in Ukraine, North Korea, they also felt the effects of this. Well, if it's worldwide, they would. So the failure at CrowdStrike is striking in part because the company's executives have been among the industry's most prominent voices, faulting Microsoft for repeated security lapses. The software giant was blamed for recent major intrusions at U.S. agencies, including the theft of email last year, including Commerce Secretary um, the Commerce Secretary said in a scathing report by Cyber Security, um, they're just pretty much saying that they have put so many places of business at risk. But you know what, y'all? What is the excuse on why the federal government is not working due to what happened. I, I would just think you're the federal government. You have a lot of critical information. Wouldn't you go above and beyond to make sure something like this wouldn't take you down? But I guess they don't care. Mm -mm -mm. So y'all, we'll see where this thing is tomorrow. You know, 
it could be over by then, but they're saying it's not immediately clear how many of Friday's computer network collapses resulted in the defective CrowdStrike software update and which were the results of problems that started Thursday with Microsoft Online Services and its corporate cloud computing service, Azure. So a spokesperson for Microsoft said the company didn't believe the CrowdStrike software bug was related to the outage that impacted a subset of Azure customers. So we shall see what happens. This is not good at all. You know, it's like this place is going down in flames. And it would be interesting to find out how many people company-wide had to call 911 and they were not able to do it because of this whole thing. I'm just saying, please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.